Mojang Studios just dropped our first big Minecraft 1.20 reveal of 2023, not only giving us some gameplay of the update itself, but also some teasers for what is coming next. We're going to be looking at everything in this video, so remember to drop it a like and subscribe for 10 years of good luck in Minecraft. With that being said, let's dive straight into it. Now, as I've said, there's a ton to go over in this video, so feel free to skip through to the parts you are most interested in. First of all, I'm going to be covering this journey, which spans over the length of like a day. We received a ton of teasers from Mojang, and I'm going to be showing you all of them in the order they were released. Obviously, starting with this tweet on screen from Corey, who is a Minecraft gameplay developer and social impact advisor at Mojang, who said, maybe I should start teasing you all about Minecraft stuff again. It's been a while, hasn't it? And that is a moment where many of us that actually saw this tweet began to get very very excited because as I've mentioned in previous videos it's been quite a while since Mojang has openly interacted with the community like this. In December we received a ton of leaks about the sniffer and how it was actually found in the game files but we've not really received any direct teasers or hints from Mojang at all really so it's very good to see the silence be broken here by none other than Corey. Moving on we then have this tweet also from Corey saying another beautiful Minecraft day. It's very hard to see right now on screen, but we'll move on to what this was actually teasing in a moment, but some people did point out how you could see a very, very slight pixel at the bottom of the screen, which many people did not actually know what it was. Chi, a 3D artist working at Mojang Studios, did then tweet out this, which was very incredible. Here's an early in-game peek at the sniffer's visuals. Our team is really excited to share these with you. Let us know what you think screenshots in the thread. We'll take a look at those in a moment, but as you can see by this little teaser of gameplay on screen right now, we got our first official in-game look at the sniffer. It's important to know that Mojang did state that this is in-game footage and is subject to change, so basically this is early footage, do not expect it to actually look like this in the final game. Now this is where the community was divided, and in my opinion it looks fine for early gameplay especially when you consider this is most likely one of the first versions of the sniffer Mojang have actually done in game. But when you compare the sniffer to the teasers we got at the mob vault, it's a bit underwhelming to many of us that did think the sniffer would look a bit more cute. I think the problem a lot of people have with this sniffer texture is that it looks a bit too realistic almost, it's a bit too detailed and it just really does not match with the other mobs in the game. A developer did actually make a statement about this, but we'll take a look at that in a moment. Chi then did provide these screenshots, and if we take a look at these, it does look a little bit better. For some reason, it looks a bit more vibrant than the actual gameplay we saw, so I'm not completely certain if that was a problem with how that video was captured. But a problem that many people have is that it just looked a bit dull. The colours did not really pop like they did at Minecraft Live when the mob was actually teased. But yeah, all in all, as I'm sure you can see by these images, it's quite alright for an early version, considering that it's still being worked on. Corey then did close out this series of teasers by saying it was fun teasing you all. Let's do this again soon. When are you all free? So that right there is just a very exciting tweet, and hopefully in the future, maybe sometime next week or sometime in the coming days or months, Corey could actually do this kind of thing again where we get more teasers from the Mojang developers working on the Minecraft 1.20 update which is awesome. Jay Wells, the Minecraft community manager, did then tweet out Sniffer. What do you reckon with this image down below of the Sniffer? Obviously repeating that this is an in-game screenshot subject to change. Now this is a very important tweet that many people have been discussing and it's a bit controversial so I just want to let you all know. But Japa, the game art director and pixel artist for Minecraft, did tweet out the Sniffer texture feels high res purely because it's so big but but it's exactly the same pixel size as everything else. The striders and ravagers have them the same. Big surface equals more detail. It's just how pixel art is. In games, when you play with them, you'll notice it's a non-issue. Now, saying it's a non-issue, I feel is a bit insulting to the community because obviously the community plays Minecraft all the time and it's just very easy to tell from a quick glance if something really does not match with the art style of the game. And I 
do understand what Jap is saying, obviously it makes a lot of sense, the bigger the object is, the more detail it will contain because there's more pixels. But many people have actually been pointing out how the ghast, which is one of the biggest mobs in Minecraft, actually has scaled pixels, so it looks a bit less detailed, the pixels are actually bigger, and it made for something that looked a lot more Minecrafty. whereas the sniffer, it's a big mob, but they did not scale the pixels with the mob's size, so it just ends up looking a bit too out of place in Minecraft. And yeah, yet again, just to kind of repeat what I said earlier, I think one of the biggest issues people have with these sniffer textures is that they just look a bit too detailed for something out of Minecraft. If you look at other mobs like the pig, for example, or the cow, they do not look anywhere near as detailed as the sniffer, and I think that's a big problem. I think it needs to be smoothed out a little bit, scaled down. Maybe the pixels could be made a bit bigger to suit the bigger model. I think that would be fine in my opinion. And yeah, maybe the colours should be made a bit more vibrant, because to be honest, it does look a little bit dull. That's just my opinion though, let me know yours down below in the comments. If you'd like Maljang to change the sniffer model or update it or add something, let me know your thoughts down in the comments. And yeah, let's move on to our latest teaser from Japa, who we mentioned earlier. I'm not exactly sure what this is at the moment, but I just wanted to bring it up anyway to ask you what you think about this. Japa did just randomly tweet out Frog, which is as I'm sure a lot of you know, is a teaser for Snapshots. It's also kind of like the developer's code words. So Banana is like a teaser that a beta is on the way. Frog is a teaser that a Snapshot is on the way. So literally, as of when I'm recording this, we could have a new Snapshot. Just remember, this could become quickly outdated. But right now, as of when Jappa is tweeting this, this Frog teaser, we do not have a Snapshot. So this could be a big indication of things. Yeah, if you want to help change Minecraft and get something added that you've been wanting for a very long time, remember to come and do this Maljang along with some of your amazing ideas down below. The developers do sometimes watch these videos or at least read the comments, so if you leave your thoughts down below it's a great way to get through to the amazing developers that can make a change in the game itself. But yeah, all in all we got a ton of info about the sniffer and a small little teaser about what's next, some upcoming snapshots. And yeah, I know the sniffer texture is a bit controversial, some people like it, some people do not. So let me know your thoughts down below in the comments and how you would change it to feel a bit more cute and a bit more Minecrafty. Remember to check out these videos on screen right now, personally chosen by me, they will keep you up to date with everything going on right now in the world of Minecraft. Do not forget to subscribe for 10 years of good luck in Minecraft and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.